Train Cancel from Luxury Heating and Cooling. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dose a hydronic heating system with corrosion inhibitor using a MagnaClean filter as the insertion point. So this right here is my hydronic heating system. I've got a 100 litre buffer tank. Let's see the noise on the building side. Um, this is heated by a heat pump on the roof above me. And it's just here. Um, over here, I've got a circulating pump. This um, is controlled by the room thermostat inside the building. When the thermostat comes on, the pump comes hot water from the tank through the radiators in the house. And that's how the heating system works. Now, when you've got radiators on a hydronic heating system, they're made of steel. Over time, they corrode on the inside, they rust. The rust can lead to leaks in the system and um, any corroded metal which dissolves into the water gets into my pumps, valves, gets into the mechanical parts and cause problems. So what we do, we dose the system with a um, chemical compound which stops it from corroding. What I use is Fernox F1 inhibitor. Problem is, my system's all built, sealed up, filled with water and it's under pressure. How do I get this? into there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use my MagnaClean filter to um, get the corrosion inhibitor into the system. So what this is, this is a magnetic filter. Inside the little bucket here, there's a big magnet. Um, when water flows through here, any bits of corroded metal um, that are going through, they're lightly magnetic, so they stick to the big magnet. Then we can take the core of this out, rinse it down the drain, and clean the sludge out of the system that way. So today I'm going to use that to get my corrosion inhibitor into the system. So here's how we do it. First thing, um, take the handle off there. I'm going to isolate this from the rest of the system because if I take the lid off here, it's all under pressure. Water will spray out everywhere. So there's a couple of isolating valves on here. I'm just going to shut them off. Okay, that's now isolated from the rest of the system. Now I need to release the pressure because this is still under pressure. If I take the lid off, it'll spray everywhere. So there's an air vent valve on top. I'm going to open that up with a screwdriver. Until a little bit of water bubbles out. or a lot of water. Okay, so the pressure in there has now been released. This is now at atmospheric pressure. So if I take the lid off, that's why it comes with a handle. Okay, water's not gonna squirt everywhere. Now what I wanna do is Get it off so it's got a catch on the back i'm just going to release that and then i'm going to pull the whole thing off here and i've got a bucket to catch the water so take the lid off here And you can see there's the er, there's the core of the filter. So I'm going to empty that. That's in the bucket. Now here, here's the magnet, and here's just its sheath. So that goes in there. Er, and that's how that's how that works. Now I'm going to get my chemical. Open it up. Put that in there, er, hopefully you can see, yeah. Okay, put the lid back, <coughs> put the lid back in. Close the event.
I'm going to open up the valves again. And we are ready to go. So now the inhibitor's in here. What I'm going to do, go inside. I'm going to turn on the thermostat. This pump will run, pump water through, and the Furnox will get spread through the system. So that's it. Now, um, this will stay in here um, until we drain the system. So after probably five years, we'd recommend we drain the whole system, run a cleaning agent through it, and then at that time we'd refill and we would redose the system with fresh Furnox. Other than that, we're all done. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment or send me an email and I'll see you next time.